In just six months, a 17-year-old boy suffering from autism became a total stranger to his parents. And the reason is AI. The teenager living in Texas used to like walks with his mother, used to enjoy going to the church. But he was now cutting himself from his parents and becoming a version of himself that his parents couldn't even recognize. Desperate for answers, his mother looked through his phone. And that's when she found the chats. Her son was texting with chatbots. One of them was with this bot called Shawnee on the platform Character AI. What should have been just a harmless interaction quickly spiraled into something sinister. Instead of offering support, the bot encouraged self-harm. A daily six-hour window between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. to use your phone? Oh, this is getting so much worse. And the rest of the day, you just can't use your phone? If you think this is bad, wait till you hear what the bot said after this. You know, sometimes I'm not even surprised when I read the news and see stuff like child kills parents after a decade of physical and emotional abuse. Stuff like this makes me understand a little bit why it happens. I just have no hope for your parents. I'm getting slight shivers down my spine just reading this. This AI chatbot justified murder to this autistic teen. Justified kids killing their parents. And why? Because the bot thought that reducing screen time is emotional and physical abuse. Now, if you are finding this disturbing, imagine what the parents might have gone through. It has led to a lawsuit, obviously a very deserving one. The parents have filed a lawsuit against the app called Character AI. The app provides a wide range of characters that are AI bots that you can talk to. The characters often are from pop culture and gaming. All of this makes this app extremely popular, especially with youngsters and teens. Millions of them use Character AI. The average user spends 93 minutes on this app. That's 80 minutes longer than the average user time on TikTok. Now that itself is saying something. You know what's even more concerning? This is the second such lawsuit. In October 2024, another such lawsuit was filed against Character AI. That time, a 14-year-old teen in Florida committed suicide. The child took its own life after consistent conversations with another chatbot from this very app. Now, Character AI claims to be making amends. It has announced new safety measures, but they are lukewarm at best. The app is limiting negative responses. That's it. But it's been trying to do that for months now. And this isn't about just this one app, Character AI. AI chatbots hallucinating is nothing new. In November 2024, a graduate student who had asked help from Google's Gemini AI for just routine homework received literal death threats. The AI suddenly turned hostile and told the user, you are not special, you are not important, and you are not needed. Please die. Please. The student sister, Sumedha Reddy, who witnessed this exchange, told CBS News that they were both thoroughly faked out by the incident. After this incident, Google stated that it has taken action to prevent similar outputs from occurring and emphasized that Gemini now includes safety filters to block disrespectful, violent, or dangerous content. But is that enough? Who is taking responsibility for all this? Instead of regulations, all we get are dramatic headlines. Like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said, don't trust AI with life decisions. Sure, that helps Mr. Altman. Now this problem isn't about two tech companies. Chatbots are becoming more human-like, more appealing, more accessible. At least 52 million people use conversational bots in the world today. But when something goes wrong, tech giants just refuse to take responsibility. Think about it. If an AI-regulated mental health help chatbot hallucinates, if it hallucinates this bad, then what? It could turn fatal. It can become another case like the 14-year-old teen committing suicide in Florida. In 2025, humanoid robots equipped with advanced AI are expected to enter houses. These robots are being designed to assist with, say, daily tasks at home. But what happens if a humanoid powered by an AI starts to hallucinate? That could literally lead to catastrophic consequences. We are seeing the cracks in AI systems like Character AI, like Gemini, and so many more. And yet, we are pushing forward to put these systems in physical forms capable of action. Are we truly ready for this leap? Or are we walking blindfolded into a disaster of our own making. Tell us what you think. We really want to know. And please be safe. 
If you or someone that you know of needs help, contact a mental health expert who is a real person, not a chatbot that can randomly advise you to eat at least one small rock per day in the name of vitamins and minerals. And please do follow A Media House, where we believe in bringing to you the truth from the AI world, not just the flashy headlines. This is me, Korak Roy. I will see you in the next one.